All right, it is a whopper of a case on the menu for tonight's food court. Burger King facing a class action lawsuit claiming the fast food giant is misleading customers over the size of its flame broiled patties by as much as 35%. Government agencies acknowledge meat does shrink when you cook it. And Burger King does admit on its advertisements that this is all based on pre cooked weight of the meat. So, where's the beef? Let's bring in class action attorney Kelly Hyman and criminal defense attorney Bob Bianchi. Great to see you both back. Great to be here, Sam. All right, I'm going to start with Exhibits A, and there are kind of a few of them here. The complaint says Burger King advertises its burgers as large burgers compared to competitors and containing oversized meat patties and ingredients that overflow over the bun to make it appear the burgers are approximately 35% larger in size and contain more than double the meat than the actual burger. And then these are the pictures. They have a, an actual Whopper versus the current advertisement. Now I'm getting hungry. And the actual Big King sandwich versus the current advertisement. So, Bob... Those are the claims. What say you? Shannon, as a good trial lawyer, I was always instructed by the people that trained me is that you always go to the scene of the crime mm. uh, before you make an assessment oh. on something. So on my way home today, knowing <laughs> that we'd be here, I don't really eat this stuff anymore, but I went and I got a Whopper. And okay. here it is, okay? Okay. This, I, I'm not going to lie to you. When I pick this thing up, it's 9.6 ounces, Shannon. Okay. It is literally five times the size of what's in the picture that's advertised. It's got more depth, and it's really filled, you know, it, it, it shrunk a little bit on the bun, I will admit, because it soaked in some of the juices. The bottom line here is that they're comparing the size of a picture, which the courts have already said on multiple occasions is not going to be a deceptive practice because they make it look good and they make it look pretty unless there's words in it that are actually wrong. But I got to be honest, when you look at this, I think they're going to have a hard time proving maybe an individual franchise or an individual restaurant wasn't following protocol. That's possible. But with regard to deceptive advertising practices, I mean, I'm not, I, I hate to use the but it is a whopper, 9.6 ounces. It's mm. two and a half ounces short of a pound of food. Okay. I mean, it's bigger than the picture, Shannon. Okay, so that takes us to Exhibit B, BurgerKing.com, where they talk about the Whopper on their official menu. By the way, it says um, Burger King tells us they don't comment on pending litigation or potential litigation. They say our Whopper sandwich is a quarter pound of savory flame-grilled beef topped with juicy tomatoes, fresh lettuce, creamy mayonnaise, ketchup, crunchy pickles, and sliced white onions on a soft sesame seed bun. But they say the weight is based on pre-cooked patty. So, Kelly, they're telling you it's going to cook down. Yes, that's true, Shannon. You bring up a really good point, but have it your way. According to this class action lawsuit, the people are not having it their way mm. at all. They're getting a small, small burger. So they're basically saying, and according to the class action lawsuit, which is brought by a class uh, representative who represents people who are similarly situated in the class, people who go to Burger King and purchase this Whopper of a burger, but they're saying it's deceptive that you see these advertisements, the burgers look huge and amazing, and then you get there and it's not what it appears to be. They're, they're asserting basically they want transparency. If it's going to look the way it's going to look, then show it to us and just um, make it that way. Well, and the complaint in Exhibit C says that they're getting business off of this by making their burgers look different and bigger. They say Burger King promises large portions of food to steer customers to Burger King for their meals and away from competitors that more fairly advertise the size of burgers and menu items, unfairly diverting millions of dollars in sales that would have gone to competitors. Bob. I mean, it's a fair point if it were true, and that's going to be based upon the facts. I mean, like I said, when I picked this thing up, I couldn't believe how heavy it was. So I, having looked at the very pictures that they're arguing the burger should be like, was shocked when I picked this almost pound of food up in my hands. And so, and they're going to also go to, in the lawsuit, at least I would do this, all the repeat customers who buy this Whopper over and over and over again, saying that they are very satisfied with this product. So, you know, legally they're in a tough spot because the courts, when it comes down to pictures and the size of something, they recognize there's a certain illustration where it's the yeah. best, most super okay. califragilistically delicious looking <laughs> okay. thing that you let may me, not get. Let me get Kelly in for a quick final word. <laughs> They're going to have their day in court. Ultimately, the judge is going to make a determine on this case and decide whether it's a whopper or not a whopper of a case. All right, guys. By the way, happy anniversary to Bob. He not only spent time with us, but he went to Burger King. And I hope that your beautiful wife is going to get a different anniversary meal. But thank you very much, Bob and Kelly, for joining us. <laughs> Bye, Shannon. Happy anniversary. Bye, Kelly. See you.